everybody in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to say Russian adjectives in the nominative case in the Russian language there are many different ways of saying adjectives there's many different forms related to like the six cases the three genders plural adjectives short adjectives comparative adjectives but not to worry we're just going to be covering normal adjectives in this lesson normal in a sense that they come before a noun and they describe a person or a thing let's say so I am just going to be sharing this screen with you right off the bat. I have the Russian alphabet down here for your reference and we'll begin. I'm going to do like a quick overview at first and then we're actually going to do something fun. We're going to go outside into my garden and practice these adjectives with colors of my garden. So I'm looking forward to it. It'll be fun. Let's start here though. I have, I'm just sharing this screen with you, Microsoft Whiteboard, and then I have the alphabet down here for your reference. So let's do this. We will say M for masculine, F for feminine, N for neuter, P for plural. These are the different nouns and adjectives have to agree with these nouns just try to make this p there you go all right so i think i'm gonna use this highlighter really quick and just go over like the vowels that we'll be using so we'll have ah over here we have e we'll be using E and what else uh, we'll be using? Mm, yeah, right here. Yeah. And yeah, I think that's it. Oh, also, ikratka yeah. Ikratka yeah. And oh. Okay, <laughs> I think that's what we'll be using. So, ah, uh, starting over here. Ah, uh, yeah, e, ikratka yeah, o, down here, u, and yeah. I hope I didn't miss anything. So for masculine nouns, let's see here, the adjective will end in u about like this e. and then for feminine it'll be a uh, ya yeah, like that a uh, ya yeah. for neuter oh yeah oh yeah and then for plural it'll be e uh, yeah yeah, like that for the nominative case. And just a little note, I'm going to be going over two types of adjectives. They're both normal, but what I'm going over right now, these are hard adjectives and they are the most used ones. But I'm just going to show you right now. We also have, let's use this blue color. We also have soft adjectives and they're more rare, but you will see them sometimes. And so for masculine, instead of ending in E, it'll end in E, E. For feminine, instead of ending in a uh, ya, yeah, it's ya ya. Ya ya. <laughs> Looks like little horses. <laughs> yeah, my drawing skills, my type of writing finger on the screen skills is not very good. I do apologize. Okay. For neuter, instead of oya, it's ya yeah, ya. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. And then for plural, instead of, oops, instead of ooh, yeah, it is e. Yeah, got ahead of myself. E, yeah. And those are the soft adjectives. Like I said, they're not as common, but they are also a thing. So there it is. It's just four, uh, four and four, eight different endings that we need to learn for this lesson of normal adjectives in the nominative case of the Russian language. So for masculine, again, let me grab my highlighter. How about we will use yellow? Yellow. We'll use this word. Let's see here. You find a word like the word new. It's here. Let me spell it for you. It's no. Um, yes. No V. Like this. No V. It means new. And that's the masculine form of it. No V. So for masculine here, adding an E. For feminine, this word new will be no vaya. No vaya. For <laughs> so here we go. We did masculine. Getting crazy. We did feminine. Okay. Let's move on to neuter. No. Vaya. Aya or oya. No vaya. Like that. And then the last one is plural. It will be. No, V, yeah, e, yeah, no V, yeah. So masculine, let's see, let's cross this one out. Masculine, we have E, no V, then for feminine, no Vaya, Aya. Neuter, no vaya, aya, and then for plural, no vya, no vya, and that is just a quick little practice for the hard adjectives. Okay, I think. That, that will be that and then we'll do a really quick one for the soft adjectives as well so for this let's say for masculine instead of e, it's going to be e so let's use this word ra -ni. like this rani it means early. So that's the masculine way. E instead of E. For feminine, it will be Ran. Nyaya. Yaya. Instead of Aya. Ranyaya. Ranyaya. That. Then for neuter, it will be ra ne yeah 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 instead of oya or aya ran ne yeah ran ye yeah. And then the last one for plural. 
Slappy ra nia here ra nia instead of ia ra nia. So this is the soft adjectives, and you won't see them too often, but there are a few of them, so it's good to learn both. So what I'm mainly going over in this lesson are adjectives that have stressed stems. So this is like where the stem of the word is stressed. But then there's also a little different endings for when the ending is stressed. I'm just going to go over it really quick, but it's not going to be our main focus today. We're not going to be really talking about these kind of adjectives outside. But so instead of u, a, ya, o, ya, or u, ya, it will be, if the ending is stressed, it'll be oi. A, ya will be the same. For neuter, it will be o, ya, too. And then for plural, yeah. So basically plural and masculine will be different. So this is like a word, Bolshoi, big. It won't be Bolshi. <laughs> It'll be Bolshoi, dom, big house. And then instead of Iya for plural, um, it'll be Iya. So Bolshiya, dama big houses, Balshia, instead of Balshia. But we're not really going to go over these ones today. Let us just stick mainly with these <laughs> up here. Okay, so that's it for a quick review. Now for the fun part, let's practice outside. Okay, теперь мы собираемся прогуляться по моему огороду и попрактиковаться в том, что мы только что узнали. So now we're going to walk in my vegetable garden and practice what we just learned. <laughs> я немного нервничаю, потому что а, я не была в своем огороде две недели. I'm a little nervous because I haven't been in my garden for two weeks. Я была в командировке, и я не знаю, как он выглядит. I've been on a business trip, and I just don't know what it looks like. Мы узнаем вместе. We'll find out together. Пошли. Okay. <laughs> my garden is crazy. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, well. Давайте я начнем здесь. Let's start here. Здесь у нас есть помидор. Here we have tomato. Помидор. Это зеленый помидор. Зеленый. Green. Зеленый, потому что... Green, because помидор ends in air. And that makes it a masculine noun. Помидор. And so then... The adjective needs to agree with that noun. Zilioni e pomidor e. But no, we also have. Uh, let me try to grab this. Krasni pomidor. Krasni red. Krasni e because it's masculine nominative case. Describing a masculine noun. All right. Пойдем дальше. Let's keep going. Вот. Это мускусная дыня. Мускусная дыня. Cantaloupe. Um, just for the sake of making this easier, let's call it дыня. Like a melon. Дыня. I think... For the color, 
will say seri. Seri Zwerg. Great color. Seri. And just on a side note, I just use this word Zwerg. So when you're speaking colors in the Russian language, if you're saying them in general, you can get away with just using the masculine form with them because when you're saying a color as an adjective, you're usually describing the word Zwerg which is the word for color in Russian. Svet ends in te, which is a consonant, making it a masculine noun. So even if you're not saying the word svet out loud, it's understood that that's what you're describing. So like I said, it's okay to say masculine forms of these colors when you're just talking in general. So like I said, seri svet, gray color, gray. And внутри, on the inside, uh, оранжевый, оранжевый цвет, orange color, оранжевый. Over here, арбуз, маленький арбуз, a little watermelon, арбуз, тоже зеленый, it's also green. Зеленый, арбуз, and then S consonant so the adjective will be masculine zilioni внутри and the inside though rosavi rosavi svet rosavi pink rosavi all right let's continue mm, okay pick this guy luke onion luke Fialetovy look. Purple onion. Fialetovy. Purple. Look ends in ka, so it's a consonant, making it masculine again. Fialetovy. Let's try like a plural. Plural nouns. How about this will be perfect? Agurtsi. Agurtsi. Cucumbers. So many of these. Well, because I make pickles. <laughs> Agurtsi. Zilioni, yeah. So we already know this word zilioni. And then in the plural way, we would say zilioni, yeah. Zilioni, yeah. Agurtsi. I vot zdes, tsvetok. Here we have a flower. Tsvetok. Jolti. Jolti, tsvetok. Yellow. Jolti. Okay? Continue. So many cucumbers. Ah, uh, what? Yes, sure. Look. Now, Etta. <laughs> Bailey. Bailey, Luke. White onion. Bailey. Okay. Bon time. Over there. Periots. Pepper. Periats. Zilioni periats. A pat. <laughs> Again, green. Ah, actually, I see something. What? Ya viju. I see. <laughs> Aranjevi. Aranjevi. Orange. Aranjevi. Aranjevi periats. Orange. Well, and green. Orange pepper. Mnoga, mnoga. So many different kinds of peppers. These are all green though. Mm, yeah. Let me see. Zilionia, Zilionia, Zilionia. Da. Okay, how about over here at the ukrop? Not green anymore because it's already seeding. Ukrop. It's dill, ukrop. Karichnevi, karichnevi, brown, ukrop. Karichnevi. I'll pick these and plant them next year. Karichnevi. Okay, what color are we missing? How about, how about the color sini? Sini. Okay, this is a good one. So we learned the hard adjectives. 
and this is like the first section, the, the first part that we learned on my computer screen. And then the second section is the soft adjectives. So you'll see the hard adjectives much more, but once in a while you will see the soft adjectives. And this applies to words ending like see me, me, ending in me. So for this word, blue, see me, ooh, windy. Uh, if we are saying, well, for masculine, it's sini, you know, um, like pomidor, <laughs> blue um, tomato, sini pomidor, uh, instead of u. And then for feminine, it will be instead of aya, it'll be yaya, yaya. So let's say dinya, melon, dinya, it'll be sinaya, yaya, sinaya, dinya. And then for neuter, instead of oya or aya, it will be ye ye. Uh, neuter, let's use the word restenia. Restenia. It ends in ie, ie. So that makes it a neuter noun. So if it's a plant. So if we say blue plant, it'll be si ne ye instead of ie or yeah, senior year, restenia. So this is an example of the soft adjective. And then what else are we missing? Yes, how about the color chorni? Chorni. Can't forget this one. Here I see something. Chorni. Like this. Black. This nylon. It's black. Chorni cvet. Black color. Chorni. Uh, let me see what else. We also have another word for blue. How about, like, talk about the sky, nieba. I think you could see it, nieba. Uh, this is also a neuter noun. So that's good because we can practice with it more then. Nieba, it's neuter because it ends in a ah, was well, like an o, o. <laughs> and um, when we're describing the sky, we don't say we don't use the sini svet. We don't use the blue that blue color. We say galubuya. Oh, sorry, <laughs> galubuya, galubuya, uh, neba, galubuya, neba, blue sky. And I think that that is it. Let's recap. Make sure I'm not missing anything here. Zilioni. Zilioni, krasni, ah, zilioni, svet, it's green, zilioni, krasni, red, krasni. Uh, then we have seri, gray, seri, aranjevi, orange, aranjevi, rosevi, rosevi, pink, fialetevi, Fialetavui, fialetavui, it's purple. And then jolti, yellow, jolti, belly, white, belly. Karichnivui, mm, karichnivui is brown. And chorni, chorni, black, sini, blue. And I don't know, I think that's it. Maybe I'll write in the comments if I miss something. I'm so sorry. But that should conclude our lesson for today. It was a really colorful way of learning adjectives. I hope that you enjoyed it. I certainly did. And I'm really excited for our next lesson. For right now, I better get to picking and eating these vegetables. I'll see you guys next time. Paka, paka.